I will I'd like to call the meeting to order. This is the uh, Northampton Disability Commission meeting on June 18th, 5 p.m. Uh, first, I'd like to start with the public comment. Uh, I think we have two public comments over here to we'll talk to us. Did you want to introduce yeah. yourself? Yeah, I'm Robert Weir. I live in Florence. I'm um, sure. Why don't you have to start with those public shows here? Well, while he's doing that, we're going to introduce ourselves to come over here and sit so you pick up all the right things. I'm sorry, I'm hard of hearing. So we'll ask yes. We won't pick you up on the microphone. Rob, why don't you just come right over here. Okay. And speak right into the um, microphone. Microphone here. There you go. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so my name is Robert Weir. I live at uh, 15th Woods Road in Florence. And I'm, I'm here um, because I've spoken with Council for Barge. And uh, I've had some real issues uh, with uh, snow removal in the past. Um, According to virtually everybody else on the planet, I am a disabled person, but not according to the city of Northampton. I, I'm a uh, disabled person according to my neurologist, to uh, my uh, orthopedic doctor, to my orthopedic surgeon, to the Social Security Administration. Um, and um, I, the issue I have is very simple. I live um, beside a state protected wetland which means that I am responsible for 89 yards worth of uh, sidewalk. Uh, I am very willing to hire somebody to do this. I did, I, I searched for almost two years to find somebody who will do it. The gentleman I have uh, doing it right now, uh, however, cannot guarantee that he can do it within 48 hours of 24 because he uh, also has a plumbing service and that's his bread and butter in the winter time. Uh, um, I have talked to the city about this issue for many, many years. Um, and um, the, I won't mention the name, but I was actually told by uh, one city attorney that if you can't maintain your property, you should move. Uh, as a person who's been paying taxes in Northampton since 1984, I wasn't very happy about that. Um, and and you know, so I, I have a guy who plows my driveway, but he's a uh, He's uh, 70 years old, he's a retired teacher, uh, and uh, a lot of people, there's nobody that will, will, will do this. I contacted <coughs> this center even before I was a senior citizen, asking for, for names. Um, and just nobody wants to do it. There are liability issues uh, that they don't want to take on. So I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, I can't guarantee you that I can guarantee my property, uh, uh, that I can get snow off of my property, but I can't find anybody to remove that snow. Um, that's your classic catch-22. Um, so that's that's where I am with this. And I, uh, as I said, I've, uh, I've looked around and gotten nowhere uh, with this, this whole thing. It's also a, a very weird thing I've noticed by the way that this city's um, uh, ordinance is currently written, which is if you are a a person who says as, uh, has to get around in a chair or whatever, and your property owner, uh, you have this. You want the ordinance written as it is right now, so that you can move around. But if you're a property owner, you could be fined for not removing the snow from your own property, which is a very really odd kind of thing as well. So uh, that's that's my my issue in in general. But, uh, is, I've been going over the ADA stuff. Um, I was a professor when I was working, so I knew this stuff. Some of the stuff for fun, which is a weird thing. But uh, um, the way the ADA registration uh, uh, regulation is written, there's nothing that says that you have to be in a particular category. They exclude a few things, uh, but there's nothing that says that you have to you know, have a be missing an arm or anything like of that nature to be considered disabled. Um, and as I may have said in my preliminary remarks, according to virtually every professional source. I am a disabled person. Um, I should add as a footnote to this that um, I had a, a seizure in 2017. It was brought on by shoveling snow. Last year I had a, 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 a 2018 an extreme foraminal disc, which I still have. 
uh, this is done by children's snow. My wife this year uh, was trying, trying to do some shoveling of snow. She also had a physical breakdown and then it resulted in something called a transient amnesia, caused shoveling snow. Uh, so there surely has to be a better method for, for seniors to deal with, uh, with this issue. Uh, my property is not unmaintained. Uh, it comes from a marginal so I, I, I live and so forth. Um, so you know, at some point I'll probably move into a condo, but the, the time's not yet. So uh, that's it, and I thank you for, for listening to me. And I think, Rob, um, I have notified Marie Westberg in regards to how many businesses or people were available to hire. And I got a list back in which I emailed it to you. In regards that that list has shrunk. Uh, it has shrunk to zero, actually. I guess the person I hired wasn't on your list. Uh, uh, so, you know, it's uh, what you get, I think, when you put out this list, you get, you get general landscaping companies who uh, will they think that what they will do is they can get a whole big report or something of that nature. And, you know, I, it's kind of like, it, it just doesn't work that way anymore. I, I would also add, by the way, that I live in a neighborhood where people do help each other out. But that, uh, I had been hiring a 14-year-old kid to do this across the street from me. And, you know, he was as reliable as a 14-year-old kid. Uh, he was a great kid. I liked the kid. But when I was 14, I wouldn't want to do it. Uh, so, uh, uh, but, um, you know, like, when I was when I was younger, first my back was calling and everything. I did my my bit helping out my neighbors uh, and so forth. But uh, times change and circumstances change, and I can't rely on that. Uh, so also too, as your counselor, I did notify Sheriff Callahan's office. Got a reply back, which you saw that because of the legality, and this apparently is a problem, mm -hmm. okay, which I can see when you take inmates and bring them out and they should get hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, mean, I think the, uh, I have one uh, guy come on and say, you know, if I take on this job and I'm licensed to do this and there's somebody that I don't clean the walk properly and somebody slips on it, then I get sued, not you. And you didn't want to be part of that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's just a, it's a very rich, I mean, it's 89 yards worth of walk, you know, and then, and of course, then, they run a street where there's a sidewalk on my side, there's no sidewalk on the other side, so they have no responsibility for, for uh, shoveling snow. Uh, so I think, I think it's just a, one of those things where the, the city needs to, to think about um, the way the ordinance is written and what help defines disability and what it expects of people. Um, and you know, I, I, I certainly do agree with the ordinance that the sidewalk should be clear and those sort of people who are mobility challenged can, can negotiate those things. Um, I do know that there's some major offenders in the downtown too. Mm -hmm. uh, we won't mention their names. But, uh, <laughs> that uh, ordinance uh, was put in place by Councilor Bill Joy and I way back. And then we did some language change mm -hmm. probably about a couple of years yeah. ago yeah. or so. And it was due to not just somebody in a wheelchair. This person was very disabled, lived at the St. Michael House, mm -hmm. and he had crutches and he still lives there. Mm -hmm. And because of the movement of his legs, okay, had to go up that way. Mm -hmm. That's why we initiated yeah. that for people with disabilities who could not. And yeah. what happened was some of the businesses would not shovel their sidewalks. He was not able to go out. Yeah, I, I, I recognize I've known Bill for, for as long as I've lived in Northampton. And he, you know, and in fact, the, the one time hypothetically at the, at the, uh, the video store, I, I said to, to Bill, we were just, uh, that was uh, Northampton's Cracker Barrel, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. and, and I said to Bill, I said, hey Bill, what happens with, with elderly people who can't, can't move the snow from the walk? And he said to me at that point, I was looking for a rewrite, oh, they're exempt. Well, I guess during the rewrite, that was taken out. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was not the end. Yeah. So I, I'm just asking that the, the committee uh, that is working through these 
these uh, issues that we're working through right now, that it really consider how disability is, is defined, and define it the way that the Americans with Disability Act does. I mean, I, I, you know, I have a chapter and verse over there in my, in my own bag. You, know, you need a breath, and I think you folks all know it. Um, I have a question. Have you ever talked to uh, the, 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 the W, like for the snow class? Have, have you talk, talked to them? I, um, there's a guy right across the street here who came out one time. Uh, and the, the uh, issue with that is very simple, which is that I have, in order for him to get to my property, I have to be able to get on my driveway down and pick him up so that he can come back and shovel snow and then take him back. And, and he's, he senses his uh, uh, nest on any house. So, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a good question. And the world is considering that. Because I, I want them to fix the snow because it's not, it's not good for someone to not help someone with this very, because we don't want them, you guys, like all of us to fall on the face of the ice. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, 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 uh, what? I don't want that to happen to anybody. I, I think the question is not uh, whether or not the snow should be removed, it's a question of who should move it, and, and at what point does it become uh, an issue which has to be passed on. And I, I know that, by the way, the pedal people are also very, very interested in this question. Uh, oh, yeah. I talked with Alex about it. Yeah. So it's, um, I know it's, I, I know it's, it's kind of a hard thing to say that the city needs to take on one more thing. Uh, uh, but I think the city needs to take on one more thing that in certain circumstances, particularly for a long time. I said, I'm not, I'm not a transient that comes in or camp, and I, I want to spend the rest of the remaining of my days here. Uh, but it needs to be something, that, it needs to be some more equity in this as well. I, mean, uh, I don't know too many people that are leaving on the other side. I didn't know for a so long. Also, to Introduce you to Chris Palamas and Judith Kelly. They live on our ward in Ward 6 off of Park Hill Road. He lives on Woods Road and has a very serious problem. We've been trying to help him now, what, for how long? Three years, anyhow. Three things. With his disability and his wife. And he is being, he just can't get somebody out there to do the sidewalk. If you go on site and see Mr. Ware's property, Okay, the sidewalk at one time, who was it done by? Um, um, what was, it, was, it, was it your uh, cousin? Was it Jim? Um, Could have been. Was. He did it for one year. We have Bill Sullivan here today. Maybe he might be able to help you, Rob. Um, get, he needs somebody to do the so called sidewalk, which now. He has to do it at one time. You weren't made to do that, right? That was well, stretched I, I, wasn't, there. I wasn't disabled at the point. Right, but yeah. was it mandatory you had to do it way back then? Oh, yeah. It, it, it was, uh, it, somebody had to do it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think basically it was at that point there were people living there uh, who were around me who were just, we just uh, cooperatively did it. Um, there was people, a lot of those people had uh, moved on and didn't change and all that, and so um, it's still somewhat, every now and then, like about every fifth snowfall, uh, one of the yeah. neighbors just takes the snowblower and gets energetic and he does not Bob Weir has been looking for somebody, Bill, for quite a long time because of his disability and so forth, and with his wife on Woods Road, and mm -hmm. Marie had sent me a list, and the list has shrunken <coughs> considerably. So we're trying to help out Bob and his wife finding somebody during the winter time to, to do the sidewalk. It's long. The city sidewalk? Yes. Right. It's it's a it's a, it's a good question what it is actually. It's a, it's actually fronting a state protected wetland for which I am responsible. I don't own any of that wetland mine, but uh, I'm responsible for moving the snow from the walkway that's in front of that, that wetland. That's huge. Do I see if my stepdad wants to help? Because I want him. So maybe, Rob, you can talk with Phil later, yeah. and maybe he might be able to help you or direct you. Hey, 
and, and have you specifically talked with Northampton neighbors? Uh, yes, so I, actually, actually, I actually put out a call to them yeah. as well. Yeah. And, and got, a, got a, a different list, which also shrunk to zero, because it, uh, there's certain, again, uh, before you came in, certain liability issues that these people uh, assume. You either get somebody who's unlicensed, uh, or if you get somebody who's licensed and then they don't want to walk with the snow properly, this, at least this is what I was told by um, one of the landscapers I talked to, um, and somebody slides on the sidewalk, then they get sued. Uh, you know, uh, that's well, that would really be problematic. If we start adding on licensure on snow removal off of sidewalks, so it becomes a whole we just ran into that problem with Sheriff Caroline. We cannot use inmates because of the liability. <coughs> I talked with them. It makes one think ill of lawyers. No. <laughs> That's good. Chip accepted. Chip accepted. Jim accepted. Some of my very best friends, Jim. Excellent. <laughs> but we exchange lawyers' jokes. Yeah. No, I mean, no, that's really problematic. If, yeah. you know, yes. We get a star, can't have all the tears yeah. because of liability. Yeah. 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 This is kind of, I'm, as I defined it again before you came in, I'm, not, I'm kind of caught in classic catch 22. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I just need a, so, a solution. Or, or the, but I think more, more than I need a solution, one of the things I'm concerned about. Okay, I'm lucky enough to live on Woods Road. I have a little bit of disposable income. There are a lot of people who, who are in similar situations to, that, to me who do not. Right. And so that's, you know, I'm not actually, I'm hoping I can patch something up, you know, that, that you know, the person that I have now that is, um, maybe not, can't necessarily do it within 24, even 48 hours because of these, it's got another business. But, um, you know, I can't be the only person in Northampton with this issue. You're yeah, not. No, you're not. Yeah. So, you know, I'm kind of concerned about whether or not the city has a, has a long-term uh, plan. I mean, in the old, the old uh, writing of the ordinance, if you had a disability or you were senior citizen, you were not required to uh, conform to the, the, the code. But that was changed. Um, and I think that I think that when the people changed it, they had very good intentions. I just think that they took a very narrow view of how this building was formed. Um, and it's time to go back to a broader one, which, which actually conforms to what the ADA says. Um, the, the, uh, the person who, who was very really insulting to me insisted that, that the city was compliant uh, with the ADA. I don't think so. I really don't think so. I, 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 but you know, I have zero desire to sue the city of Morgan. Okay? That'd be pretty bad. That'd be pretty bad, man. Yeah. I think sure. what bothers me is hearing from you that when you apparently had talked with somebody, they apparently said to you, Rob, well, well, if you cannot attend to your property, then maybe you should, should move. move. Yeah, should move. So, so yeah. wow. Yeah. That's heavy. That's a little heavy. I suppose I could move up into a hill town on the top of a hill somewhere. I don't, I don't know. Nobody cares if you show up. But I love them. I love everything about them. Hey, Mark, do, you think, do you think I should ask my dad, my stepdad, to help help him? Do you want me to ask my, my stepdad? Because he he knows how to do it. Do you want me to ask him? Because I don't want him to get sued from, from Northampton. Do you want me to ask my 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 stuff that you know my stuff that mm -hmm. do, do, do you think he could mm -hmm. do it? I don't know. Yes. This is a question. I mean, it's not it's not a, a kind of a, it shouldn't be a one to one one by one uh, patchwork thing. The, the city should have a policy that makes sense for all residents of Northampton and Florence and Leeds. That's so it should be. Thank you so much, Bob. And we got all the folks. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. And next, public. Hi, uh, my name's Michael Morton. Uh, I was a member of the committee about eight, ten years ago for two or three years, and I've uh, just come uh, hoping to rejoin the committee. And uh, I don't have any issues at the moment, but it's nice to be here. Thank you. 
observing, uh, I would ask though that people would speak into their mics a little bit. I'm sitting next to here to here, and I'm, I'm not hearing everybody, but if they would just speak into the mic a little closer, it would be great. Okay. Ah! <laughs> you want to welcome everybody here, and starting on this side, we'd like people to introduce themselves. Jeremy? Uh, I am Jeremy Dubbs. I joined recently. I am a new member of the commission. James Winston, member. Letitia Ward, member. Marie Westberg, uh, ADA coordinator for the city of Park. City councilor, Mary Ann LaBarge. I'm Jean Page, chair. Judy Kimberly, member. Chris Palamas, member. Linda Kagas, member. Emma Cornwell, member. Douglas Rennick, recorder. First order of business is minutes, and I think we have some issues with minutes. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, the, the one change was in that uh, the long paragraph, I think it's almost a concluding statement. It, it just makes reference to the, the grant secured from MOD as being um, part of the, uh, let me see if I can find it, it's under new business. We received 25 from the State Mass Office on Disability for the Pulaski improvement. Um, it wasn't for Pulaski, it was for uh, improvements to the pedestrian environment at City Hall and the municipal and adjacent to Pulaski. Thanks. Can I make a motion? Does um, having the language changed on that minute? Okay, the, the motion is that they uh, strike Pulaski improvement and substitute um, MOD grant for improvements to the accessibility of pedestrian environment at City Hall and the municipal annex. I second that. Any discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, there is another piece here that I would like to talk about on the agenda item for the minutes, membership renewal. It says you will get a notice from the mayor's office if your term is up. Fill out the application. It goes to city council. First of all, you will receive an application from the mayor's office. It is your full responsibility to fill out that application, send it back to the mayor's office, not city council at all, at all. Once the mayor looks at all the applicants, he makes a decision of who he is sending it to city council with a referral to come to city service to be interviewed. Once it is interviewed, we make the recommendation on that committee to send it to full city council. At full city council, it is placed on the consent agenda and we make a motion to approve all the appointments on the boards, commissions, or committees. So I would like that changed. When you get a notice from the mayor's office, if your term is up, fill out the application, it goes to city council. No, it goes back to the mayor's office. Yeah. Okay, so is that the only change? Because you mentioned a whole series of steps. Do you just want to change the thing about it going that, to the Okay. It should just say that you, it goes to, to the mayor's office. Okay. You're, yes, you fill out the application, I and mean, then it goes back to the mayor's office. Okay. Then it, which is right, then it goes, it says it goes to city council, that is correct, and then to city service to be interviewed by City Service Committee. So can we, can we add to the minutes or just change them? We can add. We can change it. We can add things. Yeah. yeah. We can make amendments. Now, okay. do we make those 
changes to the minutes are to be put in, in these minutes for yes. tonight, that these changes are to be made. We're making the, amendments uh, on in, these minutes. In the May 21st minutes. Okay, so the, that, I'll put that the things in, in here for my street in that. Thank you. Okay, so it'll be in these minutes that the changes were made. We won't actually go back and change the minutes, right? No. Okay. We're adding the amendments right. to these minutes. Gotcha. If we get to all, if it's so moved by the group to do so, do you have, do you have a, a motion to amend? I'm right. making a motion to amend the minutes and that the language be placed that it goes to, if you if you get a notice from the mayor's yeah. office, if your term is up, fill out the application. It goes back to the mayor's office. Gotcha. That's all you have to write down. It goes back to the mayor's office. Okay. Because there has been some concerns here where Would people... Would you let's limit to the motion and get the motion enacted? For, for him, he needs just the okay. specific a, language. A second? Right, right. Is that a second? Yes. Second minute. Yes. Yeah, second minute. Okay. okay, Chris, I'd like okay. to finish. Thank you. Anyways, what happens, and it just happened recently, where somebody brought the application to our council clerk, and it does not go there. We have to take that application and bring it back up to the mayor's office. So that's why I want that language changed. Hey, but the, the mayor told me to, to ask you because I don't want to be left out. So that's why I'm like, oh, because I didn't get anything in the, in the mayor. Because the mayor, cause I saw the mayor at the influence and he said to, to ask you to use the other one. Because it's what you did. Oh, we can talk about it after. Those in favor. I have to leave at the point right now. Excuse me. Can we vote on this? Could you? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no. Okay. So the minutes have been properly amended to reflect those two items. Okay. Membership renewals. Membership uh, can you well can you tell us where we stand now? We we should have all of, all of our membership renewals in by the end of this month, is that right? Well it depends on the list that we get. It has to be renewed. Do we have a list? I, I got letters saying that they have received applications for the people. For renewal. For, yes, who have put in applications. I don't, and people need to understand even with a renewal application, they still have to be interviewed. So they will get, the, the mayor's office will schedule them for the interview. No, correct? no, he does not schedule them. It automatically. Once it leaves the mayor's office, it comes to city council. It then is sent out to city service. We then interview how many applicants we have, not just here, but over the Right, city. But, but they are contacted to come to be interviewed, correct? You will be contacted if you put your application in and your Yes, and you've been approved. Yes, and if it moves forward, then you will be contacted to come in to be no, we call them. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. You will be called. You will be contacted. They don't have to do anything, right? They will be contacted. They will be contacted. Yes. And that was not happening. And that's, okay. But that's nobody here's fault. No. Right. Yeah, so people should. And we're them. correcting that to make sure it doesn't continue. Councilor? I just had a question. Do we actually have a list here where we could see when different members with their terms are set to expire if we are on different terms. Do we actually have that here? Or we used to have it. Patty used to have it. Do we, do, you, do we have it here? I don't have, have it physically that? with me, but um, it is also online on the city website. So um, I if you want to wait, I can check after. OK. I was just curious um, how many people, you know, uh, membership are up you know, in a particular month, if it's staggered. Um, mine might be June. I, so I didn't know. I mean, I can start with City Hall as well. I just didn't know if you had something here. Right. Now, I think it, I think it is That's during the, the, yes, I got letters. There's an election every June or July. Is that how you've been doing it? So I think that that's when we would nominate 
positions for chair and vice chair and October. October. Okay. Right, but some are different. But when we nominate for offices, it, it's okay. for just for officers. But Both some members. could be starting, like say you started, like a year ago. Yeah, but but I, I understand. But I'm just wondering if people got an application in the mail and they filled it in because I did get letters saying that you did that. Is it more? That you put in your application. We put in our application. Right. We put it in the mail. Okay. No. Okay. 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 I didn't get that though. You know what they do? Some of them do get it. All right. But I think we can sort this out um, outside of our public meeting. Yes. Yes. You're right. Yeah. I would say that if you're going to vote, vote this course once again. Yes. Yeah. Let's, they get notified by the Let's move on. Yes. Okay. Move it right along. I <laughs> move along. We want, to, we want to talk about, certainly we want to talk about the public forum and our 88 uh, transition plan uh, revisions. I'll turn that over to Mr. Christopher. Chris. Mr. Christopher. Well, I'm going to have to uh, ask Marie. We now have. We have the draft release. report posted on the website. It is posted on the city website. It is. Um, Press release has gone out. This press release has gone Did out. Did you get it? That's Prompting. We got it today. The press release yes. from the mayor's office. Yes. You sent that? Yes. I was going to call him. So well, the first. That's of, a good the mayor's office sent it. The first of the uh, three at least three anticipated forums um, is on uh, is on the twenty fourth from Sweet. seven to eight fifteen. I'm going to try and come to that. So that's this coming Monday. It's cool. It's Here in the great room. Um, 7 to 8 15. Where? Here. Here in the great room. As we speak. So we need to try to get um, some kind of uh, um, word out to hopefully get some kind of turnout for the first public forum. And, and, uh, among the ways of doing that, I didn't know if Northampton neighbors could do something more in short order in terms sure. of their um, their email list. Um, let's see if we can get something in the in the Gazette. We'll speak to uh, to Barra. Um, at least a preliminary notice. He's excellent. And it would be nifty. We'll we'll see if we can get uh, uh, um, Monty to say something on the radio. You can take your guitar over. I live right across the street from that radio station, so I know Monty very well, so I that would be great if you yeah. um, ask Monty and then uh, um, probably not by the forum, but perhaps uh, after the sometime after the first forum, um, see if he's willing to um, have us have a couple of members uh, interview us. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to be interviewed. So is this release, is this the release that's going to the Gazette? The release went out to, yeah, every source oh, cool. that we have. Yeah. And I I don't know if Northampton Neighbors was on the mayor's press list, but I will send it. And I will also put it out to the Senior Center Network, too. Mm -hmm. Great. And certainly speak to individuals, you know. I mean, yeah. Either representing organizations or individuals that uh, that you know. You know, usually in this kind of kind of process, we don't find significant change. The the greatest significance is going to be public education, and that's why some coverage in press and, and on the, the media would be would be very useful. Um, I also have to say it's relevant to what we were discussing before among the recommendations. Uh, um, is uh, work on trying to sort out the complexity of improving the cleaning of sidewalks to improve accessibility, but at the same time not imposing what would be inappropriate burdens on some people. That is something that we, we assume is going to take um, an ADA coordinator as a dedicated position to work through an issue as complicated as that and the others mm -hmm. identified. Have you 
finished? Yep. <laughs> I, I was just filling out several dad jokes and references to an 88 coordinator and have their own thought. I, I do, I can make more copies, I do have extra copies of this flyer that if people want to put them up in specific places. Can I come to my I'm going to flyer? council chambers right after this. Yeah, so I can make more copies also. But if you if you want to give them out to people you know, um, you can put them up or just give them to people you want to know about it to come. Sweet. Right. Okay. I'm going to try to my group. So we do have to identify um, other opportunities for forums. One at least we wanted to do specifically that would be outreach to the deaf community. Um, that's going to take a bit of um, sorting out on, on the timing and, and locating interpreters on that. Um, Marie, you'll have to refer to have there been other suggested, well the other mention was to do at least a forum at a school. Right, um, and I, I think that we may want to do that in the fall because I think that the, the people aren't going to come to school in the summer. I, that, that's the impression that I got was that probably won't get the public to come to the school. I'd be really school reluctant to delay right. until fall. I think we've got to, you know, we've got to move the process forward reasonably. And, uh, essentially, if if people do not consider the civil rights of their children of significant import to come to a meeting and learn about the ADA along with other things. Um, I well, I think certain pretty groups, exhausting, but I wouldn't wait yeah. till the fall. Well, so I think that um, the summer is a great time for the city departments to be able to review it and give feedback, and for the planning department. And then, in talking to the mayor's office, they were sort of saying that it's it's unlikely that we're going to get the school community to come during the summer. So if we can get, we'll see what kind of turnout we get here, and then if we feel like we've missed certain groups, we should target those groups at the right time and place. So let me say to the commission as a whole, what I, I, I said to, to you, Marina, um, on a telephone conversation, I think we can take as much time on public comment and discussion as, as that unfolds. Yeah. That's fine. Well, what I am concerned about is that we move forward towards the creation of a position. And I have to say I don't fully understand that any more than I understand reapplying for the commission. So, you know, it, it would be just really helpful to know if those, you know, essential markers are, are, are moving forward. And that would allay my concerns about timing. That might be a question directly for the mayor and the budget process and things like that. Chris, for, could I just talk for a minute? We are almost done with the second reading on the budget hearing. I am wondering, because I agree with you about fall, I think it's a long time here, and schools are getting out toward the end of June. I think the high school is getting out sooner. Yes, okay. if, yes, exactly. If we could get things sent to the schools, every school, I'm talking about Reed School, Bridge Street School, North Denton High School, get them out as quickly as possible. Maybe we could get them to come to this meeting. Who knows? The first one that would have it. I don't know anything at all about when we're scheduled to have other open public hearings. I don't know. But I agree with you, waiting until fall, it's, I think it's a long time of reaching out to the young children who are disabled. Yeah. The elementary schools, schools are over. Yeah, the schools are finished. They're done. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The school there may be teachers maybe still around. I just think, yeah, I, I think we can we can get small groups of every population we want to hear from. I'm not sure that we'll get a large crowd at a school during the summer, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm so, not, 
I'm not expecting large crowds in any process like this, I think. Right. I, have I don't to, know. Why I think don't, why don't we start the discussions? Yeah. We're not going to get suddenly a, a, a big turnout. Well, if we see we see what our turnout is on Monday, yeah. and then we can assess how soon and when and where we want to have the next mm -hmm. one. Um, and it may be that we're able to uh, recruit. We can recruit. Depending on where we do it, we might be able to recruit more people from specific populations. So the other side of the question is, how do we have the, the answer to, is the process moving forward on establishing a position? Well, I guess that would depend on where the mayor sees that in the process, if it's after the ADA plan is accepted. or That would be because my that's discussion the, yeah. with the mayor. Mm -hmm. That was clearly not what we are doing. Exactly. The discussion with the mayor was that uh, the coordinator's position is the key to being able to take on an enlarged workload. That we understand. The other recommendations essentially constitute uh, the framework for a work plan for that position, not, not the full, but a framework. So in my discussion with him, it was understood that uh, the movement had to go forward on the so I think we need a report on, on that. So the, the before mayor. the plan is adopted, we're going to take comments, we're going to alter it based on community input, and this other piece is going to, should be moving forward in your mind now, regardless if, if of the There is no, okay. no controversy exactly how the position is established, what level of time, et cetera. Okay. That's flexible, but the, the, the the movement towards the creation of a um, of a position uh, can't wait because so, to do that would mean to what delay and then another entire budget cycle and that would not be so. Do you want to make a request for that information? Do you want? Okay, I I would move that a request be made of the mayor's office to inform us of progress um, and benchmarks on establishing. A coordinator's position. I'll second that. No discussion. So, would you like, and I will inquire about that. Those in favor of say aye. Aye. Those who say no, inquire. Chris, would you repeat uh, the, the, that, uh, the, the motion? Okay, the, the motion is, if I may refine it a little bit. That we ask the ADA coordinator specifically to secure from the mayor's office um, information on the progress towards establishment of a position for ADA coordinators. Okay, uh, so ask the ADA coordinator to secure from the mayor's office. What are we securing again, please? I'm sorry. Secure a position for ADA. Never been able to think of supporting the clauses at all. So, ask the AD coordinator to secure from the mayor's office. Is it commitment to a position for the no, 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 it's just the information. Uh, the AD coordinator will, will, uh, yeah, I will, I will talk to the mayor's office and get a report back. Yep. Okay. Now, progress being made on creating a new position. Yeah, and, and that information doesn't have to wait for the next meeting. If That's we've right. Got, if we have a disconnect in our understanding, then we've got to get that sorted out.
it's an it's an art and it's finished. You got all that? I think so. Okay. I can help you out. Let's have them very good off. Thank you. Could you read it back to us? Okay, so what I wrote down was the motion is that the ADA coordinator will talk to the mayor's office and report back to the commission. Is that is that right? Regarding. Regarding, yes. You can talk to the mayor's office, but we need to know what you're going to be talking about. Regarding the creation of an ADA coordinator position, not attached to another job. Right. Especially yes. Okay. Okay, so the ADA coordinator will talk to the mayor's office and report back to the commission regarding the creation of an ADA coordinator position not attached to another job. And I would say regarding progress on progress, yes. On the creation of an AD coordinator position not attached to another job. Is that right? Yes. That was your word. Perfect. Okay, a motion was made, seconded, and approved, right? Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, we, uh, we can move on to that new business, can't we? Okay. Everybody got a new business? One bit of business. Um, we have mentioned, we've discussed several times the the film, uh, Bright, Bike for Disability Rights, which is the shorter version of Lives Worth Living designed for use in public schools. I've been on an email chain and there seems to be a blitz of it. I gather that they have worked out the process of licensure through the State Department of Education so that the film and curriculum will be available to teachers. What they are trying to work out now is how to do a secure download process. They were imploring for some IT person to appear out of the blue to, to sort out all of those connections. At any rate, since that film is going to be available in somewhat short order, um, the question is how to move forward on uh, contacting and speaking with the schools in North Hampton. That's what we, we discussed previously about using the film for uh, um, integration, appropriate integration of the curriculum. And uh, all I can say is the progress on licensure and making the material available how we proceed on the conversation here in our campaign is open to discussion. I would say, which I've had before, to get a hold of the superintendent, Mr. Provost, set up a meeting with him. If we, apparently, he could not come because you had told us that you notified them and they were busy. I could see why. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, I think it needs to go to someone who's in charge of curriculum and maybe the superintendent is, in, maybe it's somebody other than him actually um, who we just need to talk to and I can find out who, who that is. But trying to get the superintendent to come to this meeting did not work and um, it's complex for the meeting that he already goes to and then. Um, yeah, I mean, it just kind of fizzled out after that. It's also my understanding under the bylaws of the commission that subcommittee can be appointed to work on specific tasks. Mm -hmm. And I would suggest if any folks were interested in, in taking up this uh, this piece of the task, that it, we might do well to create a subcommittee because waiting to do things on the monthly schedule of crowding into this hour seems to be a singularly inefficient way of conducting public business. So um, if it works within my understanding of the commission bylaws, I would move that, that, the, uh, that the chair appoint a subcommittee. And do we have 
any members who would be interested on undertaking the task of um, having meetings with the and meeting or potential meetings um, with administrators of the uh, school department um, to move towards the use of great fight for disability rights in our country. Papers. I'll be able to check for you. I'll help you. Do we need some more help? Attorney Winston? Um, let me just take that out or something like that. Just say, let me get this pulled out now and that's right. So we've got another fall. No. What we want to do, the administrators will still be there. Okay, they'll still be there. Okay. It may, it may be that they are very willing to do it or that they already are in some capacity and that it may be that we are asking them to expand on that or to think more broadly about it. My understanding is that the, this process of licensure eliminates the, uh, the cost film by film basis which is some hundreds of dollars per copy of the film. So so the movement in Boston is really significant and, and I can hook you all up on the email chain on that to see how it proceeds. But essentially that would resolve the issue of dollars and the State Department of Education then is, I don't know if it's for, it's encouraging the use of this for film material. So I, I rather doubt that it's been floating around the school system because that that would have it's not cost. something you can check out at the library. No. Yes, okay. An individual yeah. teacher might, but you can't use it systemically without having a licensure. So they may not be able to show it unless this issue of licensure is resolved. And, and that's what, they, they've established the licensure. They are trying to find a downloading mechanism that's secure. They've got it. They, they've got the legal agreement, they have to now have something where they can explain to the administrator or the teacher, this is how you download the material, is it going to be password uh, protected or what other means it would keep the material from being then pirated for places that have not entered into the agreement. But for Massachusetts schools, this, this is going to be, as I understand it, cross the board availability of the material. I am wondering, Lori, possibly because of an IS that we have that may be involved with this. An IS? Um, I'm not sure who you're talking about. MIT. Oh, MIT. Yes, maybe. I, I think the same with the IT department. The IT department, you mean? Okay, not MIT. Um, uh, um, yes, I mean we can show it here, and we can get assistance from from IT, the IT department to do we that. Show it here. <laughs> okay, so this issue isn't prohibited from showing it then here necessarily. What you're saying? Right. I'm just wondering if we call the schools and they. Here's say, the scenario. You meet with the curriculum director. You say, here it is, here's the material, here's a chance to look at it. Okay, great, we want to use it. How do we download it? And um, we can say that that is, in, that is in process, but that should be resolved from the discussions that I read. That should be resolved shortly. Okay. And you want to get the curriculum director to be considering this during the summer, I would assume, because that's when they're going to be planning next year's activity. Yeah, now the city should be able to, uh, the, the IT department should be able to assist if there's an issue at the school level. Antonio. Yeah. Antonio is head of that department, and he handles all the websites in the city and so forth, any kind of problems in that. I think if we get him involved, they're sending us in the right direction. Yeah, I think when they say they have a solution and can tell us how to do it, then somebody's got to do it a few times because no doubt there will be bugs. Right.
How do we get the tape, Chris? That's what they're working out. But we can get the, the film, the short version of the film. It's they are working out a downloading process. So, okay. so some hundreds of schools would be able to get it. I see we have 30 seconds left. Uh, the, the, wow. There was some uh, mention of uh, a small group that might be involved in this meeting with the group. Oh, my, 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 motion, my motion is that, um, that uh, the chair establish the subcommittee and the subcommittee be authorized to conduct the meeting. Not waiting for our next board of commissioners. Is there a second for that? Or? I second it. Wait. Sure. Let's do this guy. I'm asking if we could have the ADA coordinator be involved in this with us also. That's to the appointment of the chair. Absolutely. We, we just moved that this will be done, and then the chair and you all and the vice chair are authorized. You work out the mechanics. We don't have to vote on the details. We got 10 seconds. Rosie, okay. Rosie Moore. Rosie, the favor, say aye. 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 Pose. Aye, aye. Is, is, there a, is there a motion for adjournment? Indeed, there is, sir. Is there a second? Second. Rosie, the favor, say aye. 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 Aye.